Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let us discuss how to eliminate 5th and 7th order harmonics using phase shifting transformer. I will straight away go to heat tab uh, single line diagram. So here um, grid with the voltage level of uh, 11 kV here you can see and a short circuit of 40 kilo amps x bar ratio of 14 and uh, cable cable length and the corresponding r x value you can witness here the same length and the same cable i used in these three locations then coming to uh, transformer transformer rating is 5 mva it is 11 bar 4.16 kv uh, impedance value is 7.15 so transformer 1 and transformer 6 both are uh, with the same values and the load it is a 2 mva load uh, you could see that uh, 4.16 kv 2 MVA 95 percentage power factor with the current of 277.6 right uh, this is also uh, with the same value so for sake of clarity I'm running on uh, load flow just to check the values but our main intention is to eliminate fifth and seventh order harmonics so you can see that uh, both loads taking same amount of uh, current and uh, voltage at bus 3 and bus number 16 in fact uh, around 98.78 so let's move on to harmonic load flow now uh, before moving to harmonic load flow i just want to uh, include one particular factor that is uh, what is the harmonic we have injected on load number one and load number six so for that purpose uh, let me go to uh, this load have a look at this harmonic uh, where i used uh, uh, my customized uh, library so in which i have third order this is third and this is 5th, 6th, 7th, 9th and 10th. So 3, 5, 6, 7, 9th, 10th. These are the harmonics levels I used here. And so as this case, you can see here 3, 5, 6, 7, 9th and 10th. Right. So again, I will just run this harmonic load flow. So just to check whether uh, the mentioned harmonics are available here uh, let me take a bus number two in order to verify this uh, harmonics which is injected from downstream i'll just go to a third order uh, third order harmonics obviously not available at bus number two because it is triple n order since uh, delta side uh, or uh, I can say delta star ground transformer I used delta side we don't find uh, <coughs> triple n order harmonics fifth fifth order is available have a look at this okay current is flowing in this way and 0.397 voltage TKST is available and sixth order once again triple n harmonics not available seventh you could see some number here seventh order then ninth again triple n harmonics not available tenth may be available here okay right now our objective is to uh, understand how phase shifting transformer eliminates the seventh as well as fifth order these two values right i'll just go to one of this transformer let me take down grounding page uh, vector group d y n 0 but angle is 0 here let me take down 30 degree of phase shift that is h v leads l v by an angle of 30 degree now again i'll run this harmonic load flow 
let us see is there any change in voltage as well as current harmonics uh, this is fundamental 100% no issues let me go to third order you could see third order harmonics is not available here at bus number 2 because it is triple order the reason already mentioned then look at fifth order uh, fifth order harmonics is available at this particular case but look at the current flow from load number 6 current harmonic flow 16 amps flowing on this direction but here 16 amps flowing downward direction that means so this 16 amps cancels this 16 amps current or in other words current harmonic here is equal to this one but 180 degree opposite so that cancels each other's so that here at bus number 2 uh, fifth order voltage harmonic is zero let me check uh, sixth as we know that sixth order harmonic is not available because of delta configuration seventh uh, again you look at this 11.7 towards bus number two here 11.7 away from bus number two once again maybe the magnitude by same both these two are 180 degree displaced each other so that cancels seventh harmonic order no seventh order harmonics in this path so so that's zero uh, just to go for uh, ninth it is obviously zero let me go for tenth now 4.7 4.5 moving on um, both uh, loads and here you could see 6.5 is your tenth order harmonics there is tenth order harmonics but fifth and seventh gets eliminated so I'll show you again fifth current harmonics flowing here but this is flowing downward which means cancels each other so that no total harmonic distortion at this point and so as seventh now how did I get this illumination that is the question mark you go to this the only change what I did is grounding 30 degree 30 degree of <coughs> phase shift so now let me explain how this 30 degree of phase shift creates a fifth and seventh order harmonics away from these two circuits let me go to uh, one paint in order to explain this right i'll take this so uh, as you are aware that there is positive sequence negative sequence and zero sequence your uh, first order belongs to positive sequence second order harmonics belongs to negative sequence third order belongs to zero sequence and fourth order belongs to positive fifth belongs to negative and 6 belongs to 0 sequence this pattern continues 7 this is 8 this is 9 and goes on like this now when I talk about positive sequence your positive sequence uh, VA this is your voltage at A phase this is your voltage at B phase and this is your voltage at C phase all these three 180 120 degrees sorry 120 degree displays each other okay now uh, this is rotating in clockwise direction sorry anti-clockwise direction okay negative sequence means rotating in clockwise direction this is your negative sequence and this is your positive sequence all right now uh, let me go to uh, the actual scenario i have a transformer first transformer and i have another transformer second or maybe some other name i'll just uh, sixth transformer so this is sixth transformer here uh, fifth order with zero degree of phase shift this transformer with 30 degree of phase shift 
this is also fifth order moving so now find out fifth order belongs to which sequence fifth order belongs to negative sequence fifth order belongs to negative sequence now your uh, fundamental current your fundamental thing actually positive sequence okay your fifth order fifth order here uh, when you go for fifth order i'll just showcase this through some uh, desmos you know, have a look at this uh, this is your fundamental current okay the blue line representing your uh, say for example fifth order harmonics okay so within one cycle from this point to this point you may have five fifth that is um, uh, <coughs> fifth order harmonic wave form look at this so so that it becomes uh, 250 hertz 5 into 50 becomes 250 hertz so one cycle second third fourth and fifth okay that means five times faster than your fundamental fifth order is five times faster than fundamental current let's just go back to this one so five times faster five times faster means five into 30 degree five into 30 degree means 150 degree so this is fifth order fifth order belongs to negative sequence so this is your negative sequence 150 degree in clockwise direction your fundamental current moving 30 degree in anti-clockwise direction what is the difference between these two 180 okay so this 180 degree cancels your original one uh, fifth order harmony coming from this one so these two gets cancels each other and no current further movement so this is for fifth order similarly you can go for seventh order what is seventh order seventh order belongs to positive sequence okay so positive sequence 7 into 30 because 7 times greater 7th order means 7 into 30 becomes 210 210 so 7th order is positive sequence positive sequence means it is moving in clockwise direction okay so then uh, <coughs> fundamental current is also positive sequence 30 degree okay so from reference this is 30 degree from reference this is 210 that means angle difference once again 180 degree that's the reason why even seventh order cancels each other okay. so i hope you can understand how uh, fifth and seventh order illuminated in this circuit okay. only thing is uh, 30 degree of phase shift from another transformer uh, then now uh, one more question here whether only delta star configuration eliminates at fifth and seventh order let me check i'll go for delta delta here delta delta okay so here even delta delta with 30 degree of displacement right say for example we are using some um, grounding transformer here right so check it fifth order harmonics fifth order cancels each other then seventh order cancels each other so it doesn't matter 30 degree of phase displacement from one transformer to other cancels fifth and seventh order i hope you can understand uh, how to eliminate fifth and seventh order harmonics for more update subscribe my channel